The next person I want to say a few words is Jan, who's involved in the Ignite Club at the school. She's been very supportive of this battle, and she's going to say something to you about why she's fighting to save these schools. Jan. First of all, I'd like to say hi to all the Ignite kids. We're coming back next Wednesday and we're fighting alongside St. Gregory's and Wineford. We've been in the Wineford Primary School supporting and helping the parents for the last seven years with their kids. We've found it a real honour and we know there's a lot of children that have gone on to better things from the Ignite Club. We look at Ignite as an investment in the community. And my question is to the council, the city fathers, can they look into the eyes of those children and say not only they're closing down their school, but they're closing down their pleasure time? They say they can put it elsewhere. Where is there another hall that's big enough in Wineford? I would actually ask them to come here today but the two probably having a, a nice little cup of coffee with their feet up, not bothered about all those kids. Those kids are not just today's generation, they're, to, they're tomorrow's future. And if, and if we don't invest time into our children, they're going to march with their feet. So it's not just Wineford I'm shouting out for, it's the children of Glasgow, the children of Scotland. We voted in those people, did we really? Do they know the heart of the people here? No, they don't. So my last comment is that Ignite Kids Club, which is, has got a lot of students from Northern Ireland, all over Scotland and England, are supporting you. We'll come here Wednesday and we will support you until we get a good resolution. I'm not going to take two other uh, speeches from people involved in this heroic and prolonged battle in the form of the sit-in. Alison, who's a, a parent from St. Gregory's first, and then Donna, a parent in Wineford. So, Alison. Uh, thanks very much. I'm Alison. I'm a St. Gregory's mum, and I want to thank the whole community for coming out and supporting us today. You've supported us. You supported us over the last two weeks and without your help we wouldn't be here. We have to stay together, we have to be united against these people. We need these skills in our communities, we need the children and the families to stay in this community. I am so proud of us. Well done. Thanks a lot, Alison. Obviously, it's an extremely emotional situation for everybody, but especially those who have devoted all their family life in the last couple of weeks to just occupying a building under threat, or two buildings under threat, from heartless councillors. And uh, the other person that's going to convey that message is Donna, uh, Wineford primary parent. Donna. evidence here that our city council and our education department are nothing but liars. This is for the start of our campaign and they've been banging us off my mouth. <laughs> this is the children's charter that we were issued with two weeks before these proposals went up. If we get a chance to read them, everything that's on them, they have went against, they have told their kids that this is their rules. My kids come home and said, this is my rules mum, we have rules. The government has went against them, so that can go in the bin. The second part is the consultation papers, which they told us was a very important part of our campaign. Very important part of your campaign, but we've got evidence that in these papers, there's names, people have confirmation letters, and their names aren't even in them. So again, another part of rubbish that can go in the bin. Bully boy. I'm just getting nervous now and I'm shaking with anger. This letter is proof again. We received this letter yesterday. They bullied us and they bullied us for day one and they're still bullying us. It's as if they're our oh God. They can do whatever they want to us. Do you know how? Because we're letting them do it. Well, we're not in America because we're going to stop them. I'd appeal to you not to go away. 
to stay and talk with the people who have occupied that house, talk to each other from the different schools, and an appeal to you also to get organised for a couple of things. There's leaflets here for next Thursday's blockade of the council meeting. If you will not just to turn up at 12 o'clock that day to tell the councillors exactly what you think of the proposals and your determination to continue to resist them, if you're determined to do that and also try and get other people there, arrange with us to get some of the leaflets and build for a massive turnout of people across Glasgow, parents, grandparents, carers, people that just simply think we need a decent society that means that education is a right and not a privilege for those who can afford to buy it. That's what we want to show them next Thursday at the council meeting. And I would also appeal to you to get the details of us about a, a protest and a surgery by one of Stephen Purcell's chief sidekicks, Matheson, who by the way has been known to say recently to somebody, well, we talk about getting us out in the election, we've heard it all before, and we still get elected. Well that is something he will rule the day, he said, because the voting system has changed, people's memory is not that short, we'll have to sustain it, and they'll be out on their backsides the way they deserve in the and let me assure you, I'm not suggesting. And let me assure you, I'm not suggesting we sit back and wait for the next council election or even the next election that's coming up, like the European one. That's important for people to cast their opinions, but. There's action. It's the arguments and the action of this campaign, which is already known to smithereens, the case for closure across the whole country and even internationally. It's the arguments and the action that has forced them to at least retreat on the closure of Rockhill Primary and Autism Union, the Nestdale Road Nursery and the Shawbridge Road Nursery. They would have shut those as well if there hadn't been a campaign. And it's the arguments and the action that will continue over the next few weeks and if necessary months that will force these villains to back off and save our schools because even if they decide on the 23rd they still have to implement it. Don't forget that. We exist, we'll build our forces and we'll still stop them. Thanks very much for turning out. Get the leaflets, build the events, come to the, the lobby of the surgery on Tuesday night and stay with those who have stayed with you during the occupation. Show your support for them. Thanks a lot for turning out in such numbers.